Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, each of the others kind of has something that they're extremely strong at. Link just controls that bubble around him so well with Nair. Uh, Young Link with that barrage of projectiles that confirms into so many things. And then you have Toon Link and just not, not quite as appealing, right? It looks like we've got Pokemon Trainer into it, so. And, you know, I've played this match a little bit uh, in my Pokemon trainer days, and I think it's a really, really Squirtle and Ivy heavy matchup, and I don't think there's as much of a need to go Charizard, so we'll see if that's the approach that Minchaco takes. Getting forced off the Squirtle really early, and, and for good reason, that percent, I don't know how he got to 98 in <laughs> that fast. That I mean, was that's changing, that was switching the names around. <laughs> I mean, look, Ultimate's just holding center. You don't see Zoners hold center this well often, so it's pretty impressive that he's able to do that with a character that Pokemon Trainer is really threatening, especially on somebody like Charizard. For Ultimate to kind of hold ground in the middle instead of running off to the edge and throwing projectiles, I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool to see. But now Chocolate is actually running back to the Mountain. Yeah. Throw them up. Oh. That oh, that was a close. great switch. Doesn't quite get down soon enough. That should wrap up the stock. Oh, wow. Nice comeback from Minchaku. Uh, this, this, yeah, okay. I wanted to see him get off Squirtle as soon as possible. Being at Squirtle at 120 is just usually not a winning proposition. Even Ivy takes a hit there. Yeah, I think when you're at that high, 130, 140, it's, in my opinion, you almost always going to be on Charizard. Nice little footsie game there, both just kind of dash dancing out and, and making the other with a few with punches coming in. Ooh, bad position here. Uh, uh, uh. He went with a really conservative down tilt there. You know, it was probably actually a runoff down air, now that I think about it. But either way, doesn't secure the spike, so back to neutral. Uh, I, I saw him trying to do an attack there, but he was just too close to the ground. Yep. Uh, it looked like originally it was going to be back air, but then at the last second he decided to go for an up air, and it was just too late. Yeah. Oh, good catch. Being that's above Ivysaur is very bad. <laughs> especially as a floaty, right? And as, as Toon Link, your only real mix-up might be just a down air or something like that. It's uh, That's just a nightmare against somebody like Ivysaur. Let's see. Good, good edge guard attempt. Him. Called the low recovery, but didn't really commit to it. and just kind of like loaded out in there. I feel like Alternus could have punished that side B hitting the stage there with a forward air. Totally, yeah. Because that did take a long time before he was able to actually do anything. And you know, given, if you take away that first, like, 30 seconds of the game, that was super dominant for Mint Chocolate. Yeah. Do you think he's going to stay on, uh, on Toon Link, or do you think, you know, maybe that desire to win might force out a character switch? Uh... I know, I know he is committed. Hears, <laughs> I don't know if anyone hears or no, but uh, Alternus is complaining about Charizard. <laughs> well, Charizard definitely won that game. Contrary to what I was saying about you know sticking to Squirtle and, and, and Ivysaur, it was really the Charizard show. Yeah, I mean, Squirtle is good if they can get in, but the only thing they have going for them as far as getting in is being small and kind of fast. Yep, yep, yep. And Squirtle's, like, base mobility is not so good. It's that frame data that's super fast that kind of lets you, like, if you claw your way into their range, like you said, using that small size, then just the frame data is so overwhelming and there's so many frame traps and, and combos. It's, it's just a nightmare when Squirtle's next to you. But the unfortunate thing is that Toon Link, as well as many other zoners, just have a bunch of projectiles to more than likely keep them out. Yeah, exactly. Once you limit that ground movement of Squirtles and force them to start coming with like the short hops, it, it's no. he he could, yeah. oh, beautiful call out. I was about to say, he could die right now. <laughs> I was expecting another up here, but that works too. I love that. And you know, it was bold, but at the same time, like he wasn't going to die if he missed, right? So I, I think it's a calculated risk and it, and it worked out. Oh, he has definitely stronger follow-ups than, than Jab 3 off that jab block there, but oh, he just didn't react in time. Nice. Keeping it close. <laughs> and the taunt coming out. Hey, Alternate is having a little bit of fun. Uh, that grab was not anywhere near to him there, unfortunately. Oh, you know, 
know, that was the perfect hitbox to kind of, you know, catch either the switch or no switch. Work out there. So that was a good bait from uh, Shockey's there. Getting alternates to move in. Oh. I guess, you know, I think it has to be what he was, he waited on that platform for a long time. You have to imagine he was going for something like that. He just seemed way too, like, decisive. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he's ahead. So he doesn't really have to, like, constantly move in all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, dangerous, you know that? Oh, wow, nice catch. I was going to say it's a good thing he switched to Charizard <laughs> there because I think he would have died to the up air earlier if he was Ivysaur, but then he got forward and smashed. But yeah, I mean, uh, uh, a slightly charged F smash, that's <laughs> that's going to kill you no matter who you are. Like that percent. I, I feel like Alton is still kind of playing like he's behind. A, a lot more like charging in than you'd expect. But the game is super close and there's a lot of time on the clock. He doesn't really need to go in too much. Crazy how like psychologically, or how um, how much the percent lead can affect you psychologically, even when there's so much time in the clock. Like, there's really not a reason to. Yeah, but in the right now, Alternus is basically a kill percent to almost anything. Yep. Really, the only way that he ends up not being that is if he can somehow make the chocolate switch from Charizard at this moment. So, more oh. <laughs> uh, and that, that's a, that's a good call out, yeah. That, that you know that kind of. That was, oh no! That's, I don't know what happened there. He dropped the tether, and I think he didn't even realize he inputted it. He didn't have time to save himself. That's that's tragic. But. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to a game three here, and and that was uh, I mean, alternates did have some momentum, but still Charizard. When you're at 130, is a tough cookie to crack because anything will kill. What a lot of Charizards do with that percent is they'll just kind of like bait, but really what they want to do is wait and shield and up smash you um, if you touch them. And uh, it's, it's a dangerous game, but a lot of times the best counter to that is just preemptive grabs. Um, so we'll see if that situation comes up again here. We're going to Battlefield this time. I felt Plankton for the songs. Love songs <laughs> Okay. Chocolate has some good predictions there on what alternatives is going to do out of all those combos there. Yeah, definitely. I just I wish he was a little more aggressive once he got him with that down throw back air off stage. Like, Toon Link definitely has a, a pretty limited and, and, and predictable recovery path. So, here we go. Let's see, let's see here if he just pursue a little more aggressively. Oh. Yeah. Now that's super scary when I just work as far as up air and down airing on you near a platform. Uh, and there's not really much you can do about it either because those hitboxes are really big. Oh yeah, they're insane. Oh, well, let's see if there's a switch here. Yep. <laughs> okay. Alternatives did a really good job of covering uh, the aerial space above him. No, he sure did. He sure did. And I like how he kind of waited patiently at the end there for that switch, which he did get, but didn't, wasn't able to get any frame trap on. Right. I, I still feel like Alternus does still need to be careful of Charizard's side here. Because I was kind of expecting him to do it there, but I'm, I'm kind of expecting it to happen at like the last stock if it's going to happen. Yeah, because he hasn't pulled it out really all set, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he did it before, like in the first game, but even then it was still rare. Yeah, yeah. That's one of those moves where you just keep in your pocket like once or twice a set and it, it can flip the whole set around. Nice patience there from the chocolate, not, not forcing the landing. Alternus is doing some good job keeping just general pressure on chocolate, making sure that he isn't able to move very comfortably. Yeah, you know, he, he definitely is. I, I like the way it's, it's, he's also not throwing the projectiles at a predictable rhythm. Like a lot of uh, projectile characters will, will be in this like rhythm where they're throwing projectiles in a certain in a certain like pattern. And he's not. He's really, it's, I, I'm having a hard time reading when <laughs> the next one's coming. 
That was very good, but unfortunately, due to that DI, uh, Chocolate will be living. Yep, good yep. tech. Oh, wow. I didn't know that I hit there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't kill. This is dangerous territory. If, um, oh, yeah, another one. Well, 100%. I think he was expecting, he was either expecting Mint Chocolate to go higher than he did, or he was trying to get in between, like, the, like, crack of the platform to just reach the bottom. I think so. It could be tempting to try and flip the advantage state round and get under him fast uh, to, to, you know, hopefully get some damage, get the extra credit going. But, but right now, Turnus is kind of taking some of this percentage away, but with Charizard, that could very easily change. Oh yeah, we've seen this before. <laughs> Flashback to, to game one, first stock, right, where where Minchaka ended up taking the stock before, despite the uh, the huge lead that Ultimus had. Oh, this is so scary. Like, honestly, Alternus could get side B right now. <laughs> oh! But, there we go. That, Twice, it's a great time. That down catch smash will be there. Good set. Alternus also popped off, making sure to eat. <laughs> Swiftly avoided uh, going into losing. Yeah, unfortunately, the game two ended the way it did. Um, and, yeah. You know, Minchok was probably kicking himself a little bit, thinking he didn't even have to play that game three if he was able to, you know, hold his inputs better. But it is what it is, and off the loser's bracket, and Alternus will continue with that Toon Link. Now we have Dr Dr Truist? Truist? I'm not sure who it was. Uh, Truist and Antipop, yeah. they're at the top. At the top, cool. Yeah. Sorry, I don't see it. <laughs> 